Hi everyone, my name is Katie Dexter. Um, thank you for choosing my speech to watch. Uh, so um, I'm gonna hop right into it. Uh, I'm sure that we could all agree that we've encountered many different kinds of teachers throughout our life. Uh, I want you to think back to when you were younger in school and think about your favorite teacher. Think about why they're your favorite, what made them different from the rest of your teachers. Uh, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that they were able to connect with you and your other classmates and they made class fun or at least interesting enough. Um, I can almost guarantee that your favorite teacher was not the one that you were kind of uneasy about approaching if you had questions or the one that just didn't interact with the class at all. Okay, the purpose of this speech is to discuss the types of communication skills a teacher must possess and why they are important to their success in the classroom. A uh, few of these skills that I'm going to be discussing are listening, empathy, and assertiveness. At this point in life, I'm sure at least a few of you have children, and not only is it part of your job to make sure your children learn important communication skills, but their school teachers also play a role in their life learning, seeing as how children spend a lot of time in the classroom. You of all people should understand why good communication skills are important in the classroom, um, and even if you don't have kids. It's so important to understand the importance of these communication skills because they're teaching our future teachers, our future doctors, leaders, etc. Um, so it's, it's important for everybody to understand. Um, for those of you watching this speech, I'm pretty sure you can agree with me that it would be almost impossible to understand what I'm saying without being able to listen to me, right? So, listening is an important communication skill for many reasons. Okay. Um, when a teacher listens, it shows um, respect and motivates their students. Um, it shows them that someone cares about what they have to say. Uh, it's also a way to be an effective role model and to be the best kind of support for someone. And it's also helpful with parent-teacher conferences. Okay. And I hope you're still listening because I know how it feels to have to sit through a speech that may not be very interesting to you. Do you know what we call that? Being able to understand someone, um, being able to understand how someone else is feeling? We call that empathy, which is another important communication skill for teachers to have. I read a quote while doing some research and it said, if schools are involved in intellectual development, they are inherently involved in emotional development. And I, I couldn't agree more. I mean, if you think about it, how much time is spent in the classroom and how many emotions people are capable of going through. Um, you know that teachers have been there through some emotional moments with their students. Uh, I think it's very important for teachers to be able to understand and help the student through whatever it is that they're going through. Um, having somebody who you can relate to and who understands you makes it a lot easier to open up and talk about things. Uh, a student's emotions coming into the classroom affect uh, how they learn and what they learn. And so having someone you trust to talk things over with can help ease the situation, uh, meaning that students will be able to focus on class more and that results in better school success. Um, teachers need to have empathy to best teach their students uh, and also be able to teach the importance of having empathy. Uh, it's very important for all of us to develop positive relationships with our peers. Um, and this requires empathy skills like understanding verbal and nonverbal cues, uh, learning to understand and appreciate the differences of others. And since we're, since we're talking about the differences of others, let's say you have a name that may be difficult for others to pronounce. Do you think it's rude to correct someone on the proper pronunciation? And I'm sure someone out there could probably think that it would be rude. Uh, it depends how you say it, honestly. But I think that's just you being assertive and making sure that you're called by the proper name in the future. Um, so as for teachers, they need to be able to get their students to listen up or to move on to the next task. Uh, being assertive is the way to get that done. Um, classroom assertiveness is not necessarily negative and can be beneficial to students. It can help teach order and respect. Um, there's definitely a difference between being assertive and being bossy. Being assertive is more about being confident in what you're saying and not just bossing people around. Um, teachers have many opportunities to teach their students the difference between being assertive and being bossy as well as teaching them the importance of other communication skills. I've discussed with you today the importance of great teacher-student communication and why they are important for the growth of both parties. 
I feel that we generally don't give much thought to how communication skills affect students. Um, I hope now we can all understand the importance of good listening, empathy, and assertiveness. The benefits we see include higher success rates of the students when they feel that they can connect and be understood by their teachers and peers. It's important to be able to connect um, with our peers uh, on a more personal level and it's important for people to start learning all these communication skills at a young age and that's why it's important for teachers to have good communication skills is because they help teach others and set good examples of what's expected. Okay, so now that I have gone over a few communication skills that teachers should possess, go back to what I asked you in the beginning. Think about your favorite teacher. Um, think back to what they taught you. Did they teach you any of the communication skills I listed? Um, I think listening is a big one, especially if, like when you were younger, um, for me, my fourth grade teacher would always do group things and we would all take turns sharing and listening and I think that helped grow more personal bonds with my classmates and so to me I can take away from my favorite teacher is that he taught us how to effectively listen and be able to understand people um, empathy as well so there's that um, I would definitely think about it because teachers have taught us a lot of stuff throughout the years thank you